Today I want to show you something that I recently found and I didn't knew existed. existed. It's a so-called K-mirror. Uh, it consists of three mirrors in a setup that makes them look like a K. And this setup can in an optical path be used to rotate a picture. Because sometimes you want to rotate a picture without rotating the whole camera, maybe because there are many wires on the camera and you can't rotate it uh, more than like 90 degrees. This little tool here allows you to rotate your, your um, field of view as many times as you want. Um, sometimes this is used to inspect rotating parts because you can basically make the part stand still if it rotates at the same speed like the rotating part you're trying to inspect and it can be quite easily be built you only need those three mirror squares uh, in the best case you take first surface mirrors because then you don't have uh, the fraction uh, inside the, <laughs> the mirror if you do something with an optical path always try to use first surface mirrors and that's what I did in this second uh, demonstrator here. This is basically the same thing, just more neatly packaged and I can rotate it. And yeah, um, the neat thing about a K-mirror is that it doesn't care what wavelength uh, is going through it. There is a other optical instrument called a dove prism. A dove prism does basically the same thing but only for visible light, um, not for thermal radiation, because glass uh, or normal glass at least um, absorbs a lot of that and is only visible, is only transparent to the visible light spectrum. Um, in theory, you could, could make a dove prism out of some esoteric materials uh, that uh, allow us to to uh, pass thermal radiation through them, like. Uh, um, Synzelenite lenses and stuff like that, but that all get expensive and the cheapest solution to rotate the image um, independent of the wavelength is the K-mirror and um, I think that's really interesting and kind of cool because I never heard about this before and it's a, it's a really neat thing, easy to build yourself and to have fun with. Um, I hope you enjoyed that information. Uh, maybe you kn did know it before, maybe you didn't. Uh, leave me a comment if you have more use cases for this.